Hey guys, um, sorry for all the shakiness. Um, I'm having a rig up. Um, uh, point and shoot camera. I'm going to try to record it with that one. Um, and so I can't really see myself doing this, but I'm hoping y'all can see me because this is literally like my 20th time doing this video. For some reason, the camera is cutting off, but I think I got that figured out now. So, um, I'm just going to jump on here real quick and do a review or an overview really of Ghosted Volume 1 by Joshua Williamson and Gran Zedzuka. Zedzuka? Is that how you say that? Anyway, and this book follows um, Joshua T. Winters. Um, he's in prison for um, a botched, um, botched casino robbery. I can't even talk. Um, and he gets broken out of prison by a millionaire named Marcus Shrek and um, like the movie Shrek but Shrek and, and Marcus Shrek and is a millionaire who has um, a supernatural um, occult collection in his house or mansion I should say and the only thing he doesn't have is an actual ghost for his collection and so he hires Marcus um he hires Jackson I'm sorry to um basically steal a ghost from this haunted house that he knows about um because Jackson is a master thief and that's as far as I'm going with the story because I don't want to ruin it for anybody but I love the story. I love the art. Um, the art's fantastic. Um, Where's that picture? Um, I usually don't take that. There it is. I mean, just look at this house. I mean, that is just fantastic. Um, I hope y'all can see all this because um, I can't. I can't tell. But. Um, the one thing I have to say that disappointed me though is there's one word that I can't stand and it appears a lot more in this book than what I thought. I'm not harping on cussing. I used to cuss like a sailor but never once did I say that word. It's just a word that I feel shouldn't be in our vocabulary. And I'm not harping on people who cuss. I'm not. I'm not judging anybody. Um, I know I'm getting off topic. I just want y'all to know that. I just, there's no reason it should be in anything, let alone multiple times. Um, but... I know that you can't get away from that, and I'm I'm moving on. Sorry, I know y'all don't want to hear me rant, but I, it was just shocking to me. Um, but other than that, I'd have to say that I enjoyed the book a lot. Um, I was concerned when I picked this up because I picked up this and Five Ghosts at the same time. I think, if I'm not mistaken, and um, since they come out around the same time. I was concerned about them being too much like each other, um, but I was glad to find out that I wasn't. Um, not saying that Five Ghost is bad. I love Five Ghost. Um, it was an awesome book, but this book appealed more to me because it had the team aspect to it. Um, it reminded me of a lot more of Hoax Hunters. Um, the book, the back actually said it's like Ocean's Eleven, and I guess it is like that in some way. Um, but um, I was glad to see that it wasn't like Five Ghosts, um, which is mainly my biggest worry at the time before I read it. But like I said, I, I'm just rambling now. Sorry, guys. Um, But I just enjoyed this book immensely. Um, the creative team just knocked it out of the park. Uh, if you haven't picked this up, 
and this sounds like something that you're interested in um, pick it up it's a ten dollar book um, probably cheaper on cheap graphic novels or in stock trades um, so if you'd rather pick it up there than at your local comic shop go for it um, but guys with that um, if this video works out this is my overview review of ghosted um, I hope y'all enjoyed it and uh, have a happy fourth and I will talk to y'all later guys bye God bless love y'all